What's up guys, welcome to East County Garage. Today, I'm gonna be taking care of a couple small little minor things on my car. Mainly repainting a couple things that are just kind of getting worn out. Um, the door handles, the little rails, and the Frankenstein bolts for the hard top. Um, and my, my mud flaps, they're all a little faded and worn out. It's really bright out here. But yeah, let's get started. All right, so yeah, taking a look at the car. You'll see, I need to do the wheels too, but I really, um, our driveway is like not flat and uh, the street's not flat. And I feel bad using my neighbor's like driveway all the time. So I'm gonna do that soon. I need, do need to do it again, but today I really wanna do the mud guards, um, the door handles, the driver one's a lot worse from like using it t all the time in the keys. Uh, I just stopped in the middle of the road. Uh, the door handle is really bad. You can see where I've been using it, you know, missing it slightly with the key. So, got to take care of that, and it's wearing off a lot on the inside. Um, and then the Frankenstein bolts, and then this little rail. I don't know what you call this. These are really bad. So, yeah, just some like really minor touch up, just repainting things. And then I also, if I have time, want to get around to doing, actually, I will just do it no matter what. My inside door handles, I painted them red. And um, sorry about the lighting, it's kind of bright out here. Um, I do just want to repaint those because as you can see, it's definitely coming off a lot on the inside. So I'm going to start taking stuff off and we'll get ready to paint. Alright, so I got my, my monster screwdriver out here now. I'm just going to take off these first since I think they're the easiest to get to. I don't remember if I um, need to take the wheels off to get to these. Um, I kind of ghetto put them in because Kyle didn't even have the right hardware when they were installed on his car. And I actually did get mine from Kyle's. And the door panels are, or the door handles are kind of a pain. So I just figured, start with the easy stuff. Just need a screwdriver. And we'll take out these bolts right here. So I've decided that I am definitely going to be doing the interior door handles now. Um, you need to take them off to get to the exterior ones anyways. So, may as well. Um, the reason I like to do the door handles this color, it just, it helps to bring some more interest and just extra color from the exterior inside. Um, and you know what? I, I used full coverage, got it super even, and did a bunch of coats and even clear on top, but just using it every day, rubbing it every day, uh, doesn't work out so well. Alright, so as you can see here, I now have the entire door card completely removed on the driver's side. Um, it's really easy in the Miata to take, um, take the door cards out. Uh, the hardest part really is the window crank, but once you've done it a couple times, it's pretty easy. Really all you need is a string and it comes right out. Next, um, I gotta get in here, so I do need to deal with the stupid dust and water cover. Um, also, real quick, downshift. Is coming soon. I can't say too much right now about what we're doing or who we're working with. All I'm gonna say, go to the Car Passion channel, check out the latest video of Greg driving Tyler Fialco's Miata. So yeah, we've actually been working a lot on downshift, which is why uh, uploads on the channel have been really slow, but it's almost good to go and uh, we're getting back into the grind and making videos. So let's go. All right, so it was definitely a pain in the ass, but I got everything out. We have both door handles, we have uh, the interior door backings, both mud guards, and um, the little hardtop thingies. It's spooky in here. Alright, so I've got it all, um, everything super wiped down or washed off in the case of the uh, mud guards, you know, obviously their job is to collect dirt, so those are very, uh, very dirty, those are still drying. Everything else should be mostly dry by now. Oh yeah. Um, so now, I have everything just sitting here in the sun, um, gonna wait for it to dry a little bit more and I'm gonna get my paint ready. So I believe I have enough paint. 
I should have checked before I took like everything off my car. But whatever. Uh, I got a little paint section over here. Still got plenty of this. This is what I used to paint my valve cover. Um, and I've been reusing it for all the red accents in my car. Uh, <laughs> it's worked fine. <laughs> and then... There you go. Black. Gloss black paint and primer. This is what I've been using for all the black accents on my car. So that's the stuff that we're gonna be painting. So, we shall be good. So, I was thinking I kinda wanna do a little bit of time lapse. And then I realized it's a little bit windy. I'm painting right here and the wind's blowing this way, and I'd really rather not get uh, paint on my camera lens. So we're gonna skip this time lapse. We're going phone cam. So, right now, I uh, just gotta shake it for a minute or so, and we'll be good to start painting these. I am a couple of coats in on everything now, and so far it's all looking really nice. I'm kind of pissed right now. I got this in place and one of the bolts is on but I cannot for the life of me find the other one and I've been looking in here for like 15 minutes, 35 minutes. All right guys, well as you can see, it's pretty dark outside now. I mean, the lights, there's the light is on. Um, Kyle's on his way from school so maybe he'll be able to help but I don't know what we could really do. My, I'm just, my hands are like gross like this. This is pretty, pretty frustrating. It's it's like right behind, I don't know how well, like I know you could see it in the footage, but it's like hard to explain where it is, but like essentially from where I can get the screwdriver, it's like a 90 degree turn and there's no other way to get to it. So like, I don't know how I'm gonna get it out. And without it, uh, like when I use the door handle, it it moves a lot over here because it's not bolted in on this side only on this side so i'm gonna keep trying i guess and we'll see how it goes but i'm pissed here comes kyle it's a loud ass bike still doing this still doing this i'm i'm pissed pissed off time to time to complain to kyle Kyle, I'm mad. What happened? Okay, so one of the bolts, this always, or one of the nuts, this happened to me last time, except it didn't, about this bad. Yeah. It dropped into the door. Forgot to film because I was too butthurt, but we're at Home Depot. We got more bolts because I just couldn't, or nuts because I couldn't find it, so Finally got it, we're yeah. good. We're gonna get some dinner and then continue and get her done. <laughs> I didn't realize you were recording. But... Alright guys, we actually have a little bit of a trick for you. If you want to lock the door on the Miata without uh, having to use the key on the outside, you know that when you lock it usually, and you close the door, it unlocks it. Or, it, it, what? It's, uh, it's, un oh, it's like halfway. It's like half, okay. It's, it's so tight. Dude, I was going to do a demo and do a throwback to our video and then put like a bunch of the bad comments on the screen. Alright, but... do... Oh, fuck, we don't have my Miata. We can't, we can't do anything. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> but you're I am extremely <laughs> proud to announce. Yeah. We got it all working. Everything works. Latch, uh, lock, both sides, inside and out. So we're good. That side is completely put tag together. Now I just got to put this stupid dust 
Oh no. The, 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 the thing that annoys me is just the glue on it. Like, it's. Oh, yeah. It's like really solid, but really sticky. It is. And I don't want to get it covered in it. I know. So I'm kind of like just standing here looking at you. I hate Prius sounds. Oh, the Nissan it's Leaf. Ugly. Even I worse. It. I hate Nissans that aren't the GTR. 350, 370, some of the Infinity line. Altimas are fine. Maximas are pretty nice. Fuck Fuck's interesting. Fuck, dude, the Juke is the worst. The Juke is like probably our least favorite car. What's your least favorite car, Kyle? Uh, I don't know. I got, I got a few. Is the Juke on that list? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> there I you just, go. I don't know. They're all just an equal hatred. I was just editing this video right now. Um, it's actually time for me to go to work, so I'm in my car, about to leave. But I realized I didn't actually close out the video. Um, after the last clip you saw, we went to Walmart, but nothing really interesting happened there, so I didn't throw it in the video. But um, I hope you guys liked it nonetheless. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think. We tried a couple different things in this video, a little bit of a different style. We had a lot of fun though, and hopefully you enjoyed it. So let us know down in the comments. Have a good one.